grave problems. Uh, locally, uh, it's the water issue. And uh, I have uh, uh, given the go signal uh, to our lawyers to present it to the concessioners. Yung distributor ng tubig lang. But the end of the day, akala mo sila yung may-ari. Parang sila na ang lahat. And so, I gave them the choice. Not an ultimatum. We do not do that because we do not own government. Sinabi ko sa kanila, uh, sign the new contract because if you don't, I will nationalize, take over the operations, and I will send you to jail. I have two years to do that, and I can do it. Second, if you sign the contract, signs the numerous uh, onerous uh, provisions, but I do not give you a guarantee that no charges will be filed. For all that I can really say about this, I am not the only Filipino who is interested in the prosecution of crimes. But having been a prosecutor for so many years, uh, my instinct really was, you know, to me and to the lawyers here, if you read the contract, you just use your two eyes, you will notice that Right at the beginning, it is already null and void. Yun ang mahirap. And if I go against one, I will go against all. At sino sa lahat sa gobyerno, pati sa kanila. It was really, at that time, a conspiracy to defraud government. At makita mo, if you place the two documents, the Republic Act 1319, that's the anti-graft and corrupt practices, and you place them face-to-face -face with the contract of the consumers, uh, distributors, you would notice that all of the prohibited transactions in the anti-graft law are really in the document itself. And that contract was never shown to the public. It was kept out. And suddenly we have a liability. Because if we fail to ratify the rise, uh, the rise of uh, the rates at their bidding, they incur losses day by day. And we have to pay ang mga putang ina nila. <laughs> Mas ba? Tingin ko talang talahat kayo mga putang ina ninyo. Para parapan kayo magnako. You rub us blind in front. So tangkapin ninyo yan. Pray that nobody will be interested. Because I will really if somebody, if I decide to go after you, I will see to it that a billionaire goes to prison. To the listening public in the entire country today, and those with bleeding hearts and the hypocrites and all, where's the big fish? Uh, the 30 is going only after four. Eh, eh. And it is a debating average even in the court trial. Alam ninyo yan. It's 70% in favor of the accused. We only have 30% average to secure a conviction. Because of the stringent rule of proof beyond reasonable doubt. If you create a doubt, even a dot in a sentence, patay ka na. So it is not that really 
easy to go up. Ito ay stumble down. And you know what? Sabi ko, nasabi ko naman ito, but I'll say it again. What really tickled my mind was yung walang tubig, pinatiis nila ang Pilipino. I was in Davao then because I enjoyed the rural, rustic place. Uh, it's a madding crowd here in Manila. I can have been, makalabas na, and I'm not allowed by these guys to go out. I don't know why. Wala naman akong sentensyado na preso. But you cannot go out and they control your life. You can go there, but you cannot go here. Pati tuloy yung mga kadate ko ng mga babae na I promise them a dinner na pornada. Ito yan. Hindi naman sabihin nung nag-help. You know, in the social life. Ano, magkain ka ng steak, kaharap mo maganda. Hindi mo talaga maubos. Kasasayang ka ng pera. Wala na may ganun ang... So, walang tubig. May may nagbulong sa akin. Sabi, Sir, may tubig yan. And then, called the intelligence community. Tingnan mo nga doon kung may tubig. Wala. Pagbalik ng sundalo, sabi, Sir, may tubig. Kaya sabi ko, putang ina kayo, lilipad ako bukas sa Maynila, tomorrow. Pag walang tubig, putang ina ninyo, bantay kayo, kumuton ko na inyong naong. Ang kumuton, ang ganunin. Kumot is... Pagdating ko, may tubig na ang putang ina niya. Kaya sabi ko, then I was trying to figure out the timelines of their increases, to time it during the increase. Alam mo, ganito yan. Then it's a Gestapo style. Ang tao, pag binugbog mo, yung third degree, pagkatapos ng ilang oras yan, kahampas mo, I know. Ginawa ako. Ako yung tinang third degree ng asawa ko. Na pagdating ng panahon, you could no longer bear the pain. Magsabi na lang yung criminal, Sir, ako yun, Sir. Maski na yan, that, that's the problem with the third degree. Ito mga human rights, akala nila, I know by experience. Kasi naging prosecutor ako. Pag binugbog mo ang tao na sobrahan na, baski anong sabihin mo, mag-oo yan. Sinong pumatay kay Rizal? Kami, Sir. Kami yung squad. Sinong pumatay kay Jesus Cristo? Kami yun, sir. Uh, eh, inutosan lang kami ng mga... Uh, ayan, ganun. Sinong pumatay kay Aquino, sir? Kami yun. Hindi yun sila. They will admit everything. Ngayon, yung tubig, pag pinatiis mo, isa, dalawa, tatlong araw, at naging mabaho na, Pati asawa, masabihin mo, maghugas ka lang yan, baski bottled water. Hindi ka na naliligo eh. At the end of the day, they will just say, sige na lang. Okay na, bahala na. Increase na lang, basta may tubig. That's the... Kaya... Kaya ako galit. Ito namang mga media na bulala yung bunga nga. Bababaho yung mga bunga nga ng mga putang inang yan. Bakit daw ako magsisiga? Bakit ako magalit? Bakit hindi ako magalit? Water treatment facilities. 1997 may billing na. Hanggang ngayon may billing kayo. Walang water treatment. Doon pa rin sa Manila Bininyo binubuga yung... Kung hindi gago itong mga putang inang mayaman na ito. Sira ulo ninyo. Well, sige, you're sorry, you're in a sorry state because you never thought that I'd win. But sinabi ko sa kampanya, corruption, 
Ano yung mga customs, customs, yan mga nayanay sa airport. Sabi ko, ang corruption sa itaas. I, I've been a mayor for 21 years. I have been a congressman. I've been a vice mayor. I've been a mayor again, then president. I never lost an election. So why would I just set aside and treat it like a garbage, the trust and confidence of the people sa akin? It's sacred. The presidency, it's a gift from God. It could be given by the a pious and upright person, it could be given also to a son of a bitch. But it's, you know, you have to ask God about that. It's a universal equation which you can never solve or straighten out. Yan ang problem. Hindi kasi ninyo never in your wildest dream na mag-converge ang destiny ng tao dito. Di talaga nila. Otherwise, they would have kamali ka doon sa tubig that started everything. And as a lawyer, when I look at the contract, it was full of shit. Because there, in that document, is the exact copy of the anti-graft and corrupt practices. Your crime could be plunder, or it could be a syndicated or staff on a large scale, in which case it is non bailable You want to go out, go ahead, but you will be a fugitive for all time. And I guarantee you, you will never come back as a whole person. Yun ang mensahe ko. Now for this year, I have also fired so many, and as a matter of fact, persons who were with me in 1988 when I won the mayorship, who helped me, who assisted me, you know, nandoon sa akin. So nung naging ano ako, Presidente, out of gratitude, E total naman, puro, and you have noticed kung sino yung luma, luma, pumasok, lumabas. They're all bright men, lawyers. And Pero ang sinabi ko sa kanila, nung mayor pa ako, hanggang ngayon, Adre, alam namin yung usapan dito. E total, kung nag tayo, inumpisahan na sana natin noon, it's about too late in a day, really, to start on anything. And corruption, uh, well, I if you are into it, do not, do not try to lead a community. Ako, hinihi ko sa inyo, wag na wag talaga kayong magkamali. I am not threatening. I'm just saying avoid corruption or even a whisper of it because I will start to smell around. And you know, I have the entire machinery of the military and the intelligence community especially to find out. Well, there are things that uh, we do which uh, I cannot tell you in public because I will go to prison if I do it. Uh, tell you now. But I will know. I will know. Pati yung lahat ng, ano, I will know. So just avoid uh, wrongdoing. Wala man akong problema dyan. If it's really not enough, my God, you do it legally. And if it's too big, try to look for Mijaldea or kung sino yung department sa GOCC, try to find out if it's okay. And you can write me a letter. At kung sabihin mo malaki, approve ko if you need it. Alang-alang naman na, alam mo, it, it, there's never enough to go around. That's one thing. Very sure. 
So, wala akong problema. Legally, some say it's, it's immoral, immorally high. Uh, no. It's okay for as long as there is really a legal basis. And if I approve it, and if I think that you, you, you need it, because I need it to, ang swildo ko 200 lang. Wala na akong iba. You can scrutinize all offices. Wala akong pinirmahan ni isa. 200 minus tax, about 94. Dalawa pa ang pamilya ko. Kita ka pa, pa, paano ako mag-survive. Mutit na lang may itong may... Well, nandiyan sila mayor, tutulong sila doon sa isa. Ito namang isa, may negosyo. So, more or less. Uh, pero yung sabi, uh, just avoid. Uh, no? Legally, sige. Pero wag yung mga transaksyon na gano'n. The latest one was, I'm sorry to... Uh, anyway, I forgot his name. Yung sa PNOC. When I was reading the contract, my God, this guy. When the first question that they asked him, Adri Abogado ka? Yung sabi niya, oh, sabi mo. Si Raulo mo. So, yun lang ang akin. Wala akong, ano, I, 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 I mean well. I trust you. I'm thanking you for joining government, lending your expertise, helping the people. In a way, let sa dormitoryo namin ni eh, sino bang kasama ko sa dormitoryo dito? Dulay, si Bebot. Sino pa mong nilagay? Aguirre before. Uh, puro kami, lang lahat ng birokrasi, puro probinsyano yan. Mga dormitoryo boys yan. Eh. Magayon na sa amin doon sa ano. I expect to pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness that I can show to any fellow creature, let me do it now. Let me not defer or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. Kamatayan natin, pati buto mo, hindi mo madala. So, tamang-tama lang. If you're comfortable now, make it a little bit comfortable. But please do not go overboard. And if you stay true, I will love you with all my heart. Maraming salamat po.